Hey guys, it's AMP. Welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. Um, this is another massive, massive week of coin finds. Now, this was actually filmed uh, on Monday, August 30th, 2021. Um, but I'm filming this for the last week. Uh, these are coins that I found all in the last week, if you can believe that. I didn't. I did a lot of coin hunting last week because I've been doing some... People have been buying coins from me and I've been get, getting cash... Um, but now I have a lot more cash to go out and buy some more coins. Um, hopefully do a little bit of more coin roll hunting. Um, but we got a ton of finds here from, uh, bank sealed penny boxes, if you can believe that, and other pennies. Uh, but we'll, I guess we'll start up here with the pennies. Uh, we got a bunch of really nice copper, uh, 59 through 82. Um, there was one, um, there was one like this 1960, I don't know if you can tell, but, um, it's, it's in pretty good shape. Um, and then there's also a 67 in here and a 68 San Francisco that are also in ridiculous condition. Um, and then we also got, these ones in flips are errors and varieties. We got a uh, 69D off center strike. Um, I don't know if you can tell. This is actually an end coin, but it's an, you can, I don't know if you can see it's off center. And another off center one, didn't put it in a flip because it has a huge gouge right by the seven. But it's a 1977 off center. I don't know if you can tell that. And then a 1979, or what I think is uh, Grace Air. The nine is completely gone on that one. Uh, and then for the other variety, with the varieties, we got a what, probably the best example I found of the 69D no FG. I don't know if you guys can tell. This is probably the best example that I have found. The FG looks completely gone on this coin. It's a great example, and then I have a couple, a few 70 Ds and a few 69 Ds, but that's probably the, one of the best examples I found. And then some oddities. We got a 2017 Philadelphia. I like to keep those. A couple 2009s I thought were uh, in great, great shape. A few 74 Ss I like to hold on to. Some 82 Ds and Ps that either have toning or are in great shape. 2016 that has some gold uh, painting. Um, I don't know what this one is? 85 D with toning. Uh, a dime on one of the penny rolls, and then this one that has insane toning. Uh, 2070 Philadelphia. I don't know if that's picking up, but if you hold it, if you let's set it down, you can kind of see it. Uh, for the Canadians, we got a whole mess of Canadian pennies, including some older ones. We got this uh, 1963 Canadian Younghead, probably the nicest one that I've ever found. Um, coin roll hunting. This was in one of the bank boxes. Um, and then a few other Youngheads, a couple common ones, a uh, 62 and a 63, both in other good shape. And a 1954, although unfortunately I have gotten one, I have one of those already. Um, and then a 1953 wheat penny that's probably um, AU. Um, and then for the wheat penny, uh, speaking of wheat pennies, we got uh, some 1940s. I think PD and S. There's one down here though. 1942 or no 1944. I don't know what that one is actually. 1941 Philadelphia, uh, a bunch of a whole bunch of 1944s of uh, uh, PD and S, two 46s, uh, a 48D, uh, two 52Ds, a 53D excluding that one, uh, two 50, a 54D and a 54S, four 1956Ds, uh, six 1957 Denver's, right? Oh yeah, four 1955 Denver's. Uh, six 1956 Denver's, um, six 1957 Denver's, and five 1958 Denver's. One has a little bit of luster. This one is not luster. It has been cleaned, unfortunately. Uh, for the oldest wheats, we got a 19... Our oldest was a 1917D, which is a folder filler. And it's my oldest coin of the year and of the week. Uh, we got a 1935S, 1934, and 1929. All in the same box, if you can believe that. 1941, another folder fill in. Believe it or not, the 1940D is also a folder filler and another KG. Um, and then for the other finds besides the pennies, we got some uh, other coins here, some nickel finds. 1939, 53, I think, and a 59D. 
We got a couple of NIFCs that I decided to keep. 2016, it's not in too good of shape, but it's good It's good enough. The rim is pretty bad, though. Uh, but yeah, I, I, uh, a couple days ago, I found my first 2021. It is a Denver, but it's my first 2021 half dollar. I'm not going to call it an NIFC, because I've heard rumors that they actually are uh, going to try to mint those in high volume. And then we got some Coinstar finds here. Um, some foreigns uh, and this uh, regular dime. In one coin star, this uh, token of some sort, and the 41 weedy, and I did get some more coin star finds today that are already in there because they're pretty much just regular change. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, lots and lots of finds. Um, I don't know how next week's gonna be. I don't know if I'll be able to do a video, um, but I'm gonna see if I can maybe pick up some more coins tomorrow or in the next few days. We'll see. I'm really hoping to maybe get my first box of nickels. Um, a sealed box, of course, and I'm hoping, I'm really hoping to get one, um, because I never hunted a full box worth, um, maybe even if they don't have a full box, maybe like a 50 custom, 50 bank wrap rolls that are loose, I don't know. I'll try to get my hands on some nickels, I'm really trying to get my hands on some half dollars as well, um, may, probably some pennies too. Uh, there, I did order a box of pennies, and, he, uh, he wanted me to come in tomorrow, which is Tuesday, um, like, later in the afternoon so i'm gonna come in i don't think it will be there but if it is i'll give you guys an update um in some in some social media all right guys uh thank you for watching lots and lots of finds probably this is my biggest one uh yet but we didn't get any silver nothing too insane but we did get some firsts some fillers and some great coins all right see you next time